Hi everybody, today we finally check out Pitch Fix. Welcome to another Quick Wing Tips. If you like that video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you are not yet subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel to know more about the wing or live sound. And if you want to support me a little bit, think about becoming a member or a super member. Now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about Pitch Fix. The Pitch Fix plugin has been available in the wing for a long time. Uh, it's been released with firmware 1.08. So it's been around a year, maybe year and a half. This is probably the plugin that has the most mystery. I'm getting requests pretty much daily on how to use the Pitch Fix plugin in the wing. Pitch Fix is a insert plugin that you will find in the premium and the standard rack. You can have up to 16 of them if you don't want to use anything else. Just press any unuse effect, plus button, standard effect, and it's right there. When I say it's an insert effect, I mean it's made to be used in one of the two insert effect of your channel strip. You probably don't want to send multiple source into a single pitch correction effect. Most of you will probably use this on a single vocal and this is where things get interesting. Like on every channel of the wing, you have many options to where you want your effect block to be. As an example, I'm gonna insert one pitch fix plugin here. I'm gonna go in ohm, press the little uh, tool in the bottom and depending on if you want your performer to hear the pitch fix or not, and if you want to have the pitch correction before compression, before EQ, you can play around with the block in the chain. So if you put it at the beginning, everybody and every other plugin will be after the effect. So your compressor, gate, EQ uh, will all be after the effect. But if you don't want your performer to hear the pitch correction, you need to move your tap point so you have your tap point before the effects or simply use the second insert block of your channel it's just not going to affect anything else in the signal chain if you want to have more precision about tap point and what do you send into your bus or not i have another video about that that is already released so please take a look at it speed amount and pitch Speed is how fast the plugin will react and will correct a note. The amount is how much of that note, how intense the plugin will be. And the pitch is the tuning reference of your music. So A440 is pretty much the standard that everybody agreed on when it comes time to tune up guitar, bass, piano, or other instrument that have pitch. In between the knob and the value display, we have the 12 semitone. Uh, they are, they basically represent the same note that you will find on a piano. So you have your white and your black note. And this is also where you turn them on or off. Pitch Fix is like its name imply, a pitch correction plugin, but it's not working exactly like Autotune would. When you enable or disable a note in the pitch fix, it will listen for it or simply ignore it. Contrary to autotune, a pitch fix will not force you into a note. Let me give you an example. Uh, if you were to disable every single note of the scale except one, pitch fix will simply not care about the note that are disabled. If you were to play a F note and have it slightly flat, it will not take care of it and will not correct the pitch for that note. The contrary is not true for autotune. In autotune, if you disable every single note except one, it will force your signal to tune to that note. So if you want to do that uh, 21 Pilot song, Ethan, that has two layer of vocal, one uh, that doing the melody and the other one is tuned to a flat E all over the song, is just a one note line vocal. Uh, you could do it with pitch fix, but you would have to fake it with your voice. You cannot take a vocal that has a melody and force it into a single note like autotune would. So that may bring you the question, is Pitch Fix a good correction plugin for vocal? My answer is yes, and especially for live. 
During a live show, you probably don't want to change the key in between every song, especially if you are doing 3 hour set with cover band or you are in a church and you're doing 2 hour of music non-stop. To avoid mistake and to avoid so many manipulation, the idea here is that you leave the plugin in chromatic mode. Chromatic mode here means that you will let the plugin fix the pitch for all 12 semitone. It would not skip a note, it would not force you to go in between two notes. I know this is not perfect, I know this is not the way some people would like the plugin to work. It's made for live use. So live use is whatever coming out of the mic, processed in real time, sent out to the main out with pretty much no latency. If you have a singer who can sing and you want him to be perfectly on pitch all the time, this is the tool that you need to have. Let me take out my acoustic guitar and we will take a look at how the plugin is working. I now just inserted the plugin into the effects slot 1 of a channel, plug my acoustic guitar in there, and we will take a listen at a E note. I purposely tuned my guitar a little bit flat. Uh, please take a look at the center knob of the plugin when I play that E note. Even if my guitar is slightly out of tune, the plugin is working and bring it back to an E. And now just for fun, I'm gonna turn on the plugin off. And with the magic of editing, I will show you guys the two notes back to back. Let me give you another example, but this time we're gonna turn off the detector for the E note. And I'm gonna slowly change the pitch on the guitar. Because I've turned out the E note in the pitch detector, it just let it go through. Now, just for fun, I'm gonna play that same flat E note again, and I'm gonna fret a G note after that. Let's take a listen. Can you hear that the E note was a little bit flat, but when I played the G note, it was oscillating between the pitch, but it was pretty much dead on. Now, just for fun, we're gonna exaggerate it. I'm gonna turn the amount to 100 and the speed to 100. Let's do the same example again uh, with the flat E note detector off and the G note on, but this time, because the amount and the speed is really fast, it should not oscillate at all. It should go from the not in tune E note to the really in tune G note. I even pressed it hard a little bit and it simply doesn't go out of tune. This is opening up a new way of tuning vocal live. If you have a really good singer that only sometimes is flat or sharp on one note, you can pretty much turn all the note off so your singer will not sound like T-Pain, but when he will go out of key for that note or just a few note in the scale, you can bring it right back on pitch. Now, speaking of T-Pain, if you want to have that crazy hip hop sound, let me give you guys a quick example with my voice. I now have the plugin inserted on my vocal microphone, the one that you cannot see here. Maybe I can drop it down for that example a little bit. That microphone, full on autotune. Oh. Now, let's see how it sounds with autotune. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Usually in hip hop, you hear the autotune when you go up or down the scale, when you go like, hey. <laughs> Hey, hey. <laughs> okay, 
This is as extreme as the plugin will go. This is more an effect like I would use reverb or delay on a vocal, but some people want that. If you want to sound like a robot, this is the way to go. If you want to have a more subtle correction, you need to play around with the speed and you need to play around with the amount. There is no preset or magic number here. It's really a case per case scenario how you need to tweak the plugin. I hope you now understand better how to use the pitch fix plugin in the wing. Until the next one, please take care of yourself, guys. And I see you all later. Whoa! <laughs>